Welcome everyone to this third video in the Talks in Pocket Rocket series. Today we are going to try another attempt at landing in Cap 3 conditions using purely the synthetic vision on the Garmin G1000. So last time we tried this we tried it at Luckler Airport and because the runway on the screen was in a different place to the physical runway uh, we ended up crashing into a mountain. So I thought we'll try this again, but we'll try it at a more forgiving airport with a nice flat runway, no tricky uh, terrain to crash into. And it appears that the runway on the screen matches the location of the physical runway. So we've taken off now from Stansted in these super, super foggy conditions. We're just gonna basically fly out of here and then we're going to fly back in um, to the runway so we're not even really doing a circuit we're just going to go out and back in um, we're going to try and acquire the ILS to guide us down but we're going to fly the approach to the runway completely manually so we've got the autopilot on at the moment just to keep us in straight and level stable flight heading away from the airport um, and now we'll just head over and look at the MFD just to see where we're currently heading and then we're going to use that to vector ourselves back towards the runway so we want to wait till we're a good few miles out before we start our turn and before we start returning to the runway it doesn't have to be too many miles because we're quite low but you want enough so that you are technically still below the glide slope when you turn around. So you can see there that the terrain below us on the synthetic vision is nice and flat, which is good. Um, hopefully we should be able to do this and it should demonstrate that maybe in certain conditions you can use the synthetic vision to land a plane visually um, in Cap 3 foggy conditions. So we've got that landing gear down. We're not going to put any flaps down because this plane um, tends to take off and land quite easily without flaps. I don't know if that's how you're meant to fly it, but that seems to work for me. So we're just turning around now and we're going to start heading back towards the airport. And in a minute we'll take a closer look at the PFD display so you can see what's going on and where we're going. Again, this is a completely unedited video, so you know that it is successful and it is legitimate if we manage to get this right. No cuts, no edits and no cheating. So at the moment we're just kind of hunting for the airport and there it is. So we can see it uh, sort of signposted on the synthetic vision display. So we're just going to head for it and we're going to see if we can make the landing there. So we are hand flying right now. We turned the autopilot off a little bit earlier so we are completely hand flying this approach here. And if I'm right, I can see some glide slope and localizer guidance on the synthetic vision here. So we're going to fly through these uh, these squares, and it should hopefully guide us down to the runway. It's almost like playing pilot wings or playing a game where you literally just have to fly through the hoops, and you'll be guided to your destination. So this is pretty cool. I'm not sure if it appears on every INS approach. It certainly didn't appear when we were at Cardiff a little bit earlier on. But hey, it's guiding us down to the Stansted runway, so I'm not complaining. So let's hope that the synthetic runway is in the same place as the actual runway and that we can get this plane down. So 
so we're pretty close to the runway right now but we can't actually see the grounds out the window there so we are still completely reliant on the vertical guidance provided by the synthetic vision and the 3D runway on the screen as well. Okay, here we go, here's the runway. We still can't see it out the window, but we're gonna try and land it using what we can see on the screen. Let's bring it down as gently as we can, but there is gonna be a small difference between what we're seeing on the screen and the actual runway and there it is <laughs> but we made it down we landed successfully uh, we didn't tear the landing gear off so it can be done you can sometimes land purely using synthetic vision uh, landing visually in cap 3 conditions so we'll take a quick look now at the replays so this is now purely a replay from the synthetic vision because when we actually did this we were kind of looking at the window and looking at the screen so this replay here will show you purely what could be seen on the screen all the way down to touchdown and there we go thank you everybody for watching I will see you next time and until next time Remember, you can always go around. Take care.